Welcome back everyone, and this time we're going to go visit my favorite area of the game, the fu- Oh, for fuck's sake, not the caves! Oh, fucking damn it. Okay, okay. Um, I've mis made a miscalculation. The next level is my favorite area, stage 5. We have to deal with the fucking caves. Now, just listen to that wonderful roaring waterfall. Can you feel the sounds of nature? So yeah, enjoy hearing that wonderful static, because you're going to be hearing that a fucking lot throughout this entire area. This may be the one time where me getting static on my mic may actually not be making any difference at all. So, go into this pipe, which just exits out across this other area. Absolutely useless. So the caves are... On the one hand, they don't have as many pitfalls, surprisingly, as the canyon, but on the other hand, there's way, way more obstacles when you're jumping. A lot more. And, honestly, the caves is just a really bad place because it's got so many obstacles. You've got the icicles when you're trying to jump. You've got the weird oil bows that whenever they're on screen, they black out the area. I don't even know how that works. Why would oil bows do that? They're constantly kind of smoke and blacken the whole place. And I, this is my first of several deaths here. I died here more than anywhere else in the game. I haven't even gotten to, like, the next two stages, but I'll guarantee you I won't die as much in those areas as I will here. And it is really just a depressing place to be. The music is kind of okay, though. I mean, it does sound... Oh, so yeah, this is an annoyance rather than anything else, because you can still kind of know where you're going because of the brief memory. As long as you have good short-term memory, you're not too off. They also give you quite a bit of life here, in the form of parts to collect. I really wish that would just extend your life meter or something, instead of just sticking you with the same old three hearts. This pipe is so useless, just to give you a quick way through. I mean... Just... I if I could... Oh no, don't go that! Oh! Go back, go back! So... Yeah, the, the caves are really terrible, and I really wanted to get out of here as fast as I possibly could. A lot of clocks are here as well. I don't know if that's meant to be symbolist um, or something like that. The symbolism, the passage of time is it's eternal with the caves, or some crap like that. Or there could just be very annoying enemies. Speaking of annoying enemies, um, I told you the frogs were the most annoying enemy in the game. I kind of lied about that. There's one in this cave. And only in this cave. That's way worse. Way, way worse. Oh, God. The wonderful water rushing sound. Sounds of nature. Maybe you could put it on a CD. I just love to do that at a store sometimes. Sounds of nature. And instead of just water, it would just be all static. No, that's the sound of water as envisioned by the Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh, look. Um, penny shakers. Maybe we'll do something with your duties. No, it just brought more enemies! Damn it, Penny Shakers, you lied to me! <laughs> you betrayed me! Well, maybe that one didn't. Maybe this one will work. God damn it! So, well, at least they gave me these two guys, the prawns. I honestly couldn't hit one because I'm stupid. But Daffy's here. We'll just say fuck you to him, and jump off and get a carrot. Somehow fly out of a cave. Okay, you're flying out of a cave, why don't you just fly out o overall? Like, all together. And just to make this video even worse, um, let's see how many lives I get with 60 carrots. Nope. 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 <laughs> Fucking no! And look, there's one diagonal just to piss me off! God damn it! So, when I was a kid, oh god, no, oh, this is this fucker right here. This is the ghost. He is invincible, and he will always fly in the diagonal pattern. He is the worst fucking dead in this game. He is absolutely annoying, and he has caused me more deaths than anything else in the game purely by his actions. Fuck this ghost. Fuck everything about him. 
fuck, ghosts. Uh, now, you'd think it might be easy to avoid, but no. It, it needs no. Because, consider him, then consider every other obstacle around. Consider the fact that he's going to reappear out of nowhere like that. Consider I was stupid enough to fall right into that trap there and get blown up in the face. Uh, oh yeah, water spout. You cannot jump on that, you will fall in, super in between and die. I will demonstrate this later on, spoilers. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm collecting carrots at this point. I kind of just want the carrots because it's kind of an instant now. I have like 30 something lives, 33 lives, and it's not going to get any better than this. Ugh. Yeah, just kick me in the face, why don't you? Go down here. Oh, platform. So, remember when I told you about the jump being working? No, that doesn't work at all, does it? Yeah, when I told you about how the jump kind of helps you when you're going along the route, yeah, um, you get the horizontal momentum of going along, but you don't get the vertical momentum. So you're kind of stuck at that point as you go along. And I thought it would push me a little bit upwards because it hadn't finished the jump height animation. No, no, it, it doesn't. You're just stuck like that. Um... So, why don't we have a little quiz round, folks? Why don't you guess what this ghost is? Who is this ghost? Why is he haunting the shit out of me? Why does he have a quiff? I personally want to think it's Richie Rich's ghost. Like he finally just got sick of it all and hunt himself. I'm kind of hoping he does, because I really hated Richie Rich as a kid. And I know someone's going to quote The Simpsons about, you know, oh, maybe Casper was Richie Rich and he just got sick of the world and tried to hang himself. I'm kind of hoping that's true, because I never liked Richie Rich. Casper I can't dislike, because Casper is, well, Casper. It's kind of harmless as ghosts go. <laughs> Unless he's Jasper, the douchebag ghost. <laughs> Um, so, now, like, who here actually likes Richie Rich? I know it's not Looney Tunes related at all, I mean, that was like, what, Max Fleischer's studio or something? Who actually likes Richie Rich? Maybe he's not a complete douche, but... Oh, look, technical a neon room for no reason. Gives you a heart, though, so I'm thankful for this. And look who's back! Someone hiding behind rocks! It's fucking Tweety! Fuck! This stupid little bitch! God damn it! So, this is basically a more typical battle of how I fight Tweety. Getting my ass kicked halfway through and not knowing what to do. When I'm trying to sort of do a pounce hammer slam attack, and I ended up hammering her twice and fucking her up. Fuck you, Tweety. So, yeah, the other thing you can learn about the, um, uh, the hammer is the fun fact that if you land with the hammer, like you sort of hammer in the air and then land and then do the hammer again, the air hammer is interrupted by the ground hammer attack. So you can actually get a very quick one-two combo and sort of um, trick him with it. Also, I got three lives in a row, so I'm happy about this. Now, let's move on to... I think this is the worst stage of the entire game, as far as I can remember. This is, not only is this like a really blatantly copy-pasted level, and you will see why, but it's also really, really annoying. I might be wrong. Now, the way is a level probably worse than this, but this kind of does come up at top. Ghost right in the fucking face, what?! <laughs> uh... Clock, dump. You'll never escape here. We all float down here. Even clocks do. Do clocks float? I don't even know. I'm kind of desperate here for commentary because these fucking goats are annoying the shit out of me. And I can't predict the timing of these damn waterfalls. Oh thank god, a thin. Let me have it. So, we go through there. Oh look, it's the same place again! That we just went down! The ramp area! The carrots are in a different placement, but look, it's the same place! Copy-pasted like shit! 
It's really blatant. Okay, this isn't the worst level in the game, it's just the most blatant. I still don't get the oil bows, but you kinda wanna get away from them as fast as possible because fuck this. Just jump over. I wasn't really caring if I got killed at that point, I just wanted to get out of here. Now we have this little home search area, with one ghost is guarding. And he's in a now area, so he's kinda trying to piss you off. Y yeah, smoke me, pal. And we finally have a use for the rabbit season sign! Nope, you still can't change it. You can stand on it! Fuck this noise! I'm taking my carrots and leaving. Uh, God. So... Uh, Seriously, I just... I just want this level over with. Like, the next level is really fun. It's so much more entertaining. It's it's nicer. The boss there is also really fun, but in a stupid way. I'm really excited for the next level and I really want to get past this one. And uh So I really can't so much about the caves. It's like was this really is it? You've seen everything about it. There's nothing new about it. There's no new enemies. There's no new areas. There's like one boss you're gonna be dealing with later on. And that's about it. I kind of run out of comments right here. Oh look, bridges! My oh, god, bridges, I can talk about this. So the bridges will instantly de destroy underneath your feet, obviously. And you would think your instinct is to run across them. I think, you know, you'll be alright. I'm gonna show you, I am going to show you why that is a bad idea later on. So this is the most difficult level of the game, in my opinion, because there was so much shit thrown at you. Look how much life I have left. I started with three hearts. Look how much shit I had to deal with. There's, it just fucking throws everything at you. The difficulty curve was insane. The next level isn't even this hard. The next level is actually really pleasant. But this shit happens. I don't even know what to do. Look at this. There's fucking two icicles and a ghost. How the fuck do I touch this? What the hell? I can't even concentrate. I fall to my death. I was so panicking from the two icicles and the ghost coming at me at once. Because you have to take a hit. There's no way you cannot take a hit. This game is so bad. Maybe someone out there enjoys this game. Maybe someone out there considers it difficult but enjoyable. You know what? If you enjoy this game, fine. That's your childhood and I'm not going to envy you. Also, I fell off and died on the bridge. The bridge actually crumbles faster than you can walk. So yeah, this fucking level is the worst thing. This is the last cave level, and I am desperate to get out of here. And you're probably telling by the timer, we've still got four, five minutes to go of this shit, and I'm not getting out anytime soon. Because if you die anywhere, no matter what screen you die on, you are going to go all the way back to the beginning, and that's it. That bow did not even touch me. I still got hit. What the hell? Is it hot? Is it really hot? Is like oil being steamed on it's causing this blackout in the air? What is up with that? Someone please explain to me the thing about the oil bow, because I really want to know how the fuck that even works. Alright. So, I have to jump across the bridge, otherwise it's gonna cover under my feet. If I do that, the icicles hit me. You can't do this without getting hit. I, if someone can dare to go through this level without being hit, then I will fucking commend you. I will buy you whatever you want. You know, I will buy you something. I'll buy you an avatar, or, or I'll buy you a title. I'm not even joking. I'll buy you a title if someone goes through this fucking level without taking one goddamn hit. It's... Oh. Normally... Oh, fucking God. Oh. I really wanted to chance that jump, and it just comes away at the last moment. <laughs> I'm laughing right now. <laughs> Fuck you! This fucking game! I got mad, I don't know what to do with myself anymore. I don't even know what to do! 
That platform way back there caught me underneath my feet. This <laughs> this game is kicking me in the balls, and I can't do it. Look at that! I I have one heart left. If I get hit two more times, I'm fucking dead. I have to do this all over again. I don't care if I got like 42 lives or something like that. It's not gonna make this bad. <laughs> so, you can actually use the hammer to smack away icicles and sort of knock them so you can uh, reset the pattern. That's not gonna help you. You still get hit. You still have to suffer this shit. I'm almost dead. If I take, like, this is two more hits. Two more hits from a normal enemy. One more hit from a normal enemy! Maybe two if I'm lucky. This guy gives me a little boost though. So, I'm gonna get hit next. Again. I'm trying to jump over this ghost and kind of just trying to get away. Two ghosts at the same time! God damn it! And it took away that last heart. It's not even any segue sections or anything. This is just literally one long slog. And you get a heart at the end of it to finally restore all your health. And even worse, we fight Pepe Le Pew! Now we're gonna get raped by a Frenchman. What the hell? So, okay, Pepe Le Pew is actually quite difficult because he has these smoke bombs. He's one of the few characters next to Elmer Fudge who can long range attack you. I was desperate here. I did not want to die. So I desperately started trying to s basically spank his ass with the mallet. I don't even know. Maybe that's a kinky thing in there. Anyway, I figured out eventually you can actually smack away the fart clouds with the mallet. And I managed to kill him. I'm not sure if the mallet killed him, because he might have the large hitbox or not, or if it was actually the exploding fart in his face. Either way, I got 67 carrots. Meaning I can play this game twice. And by god, I'm going to fucking beat the shit out of this weasel if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> oh god. As horrible as that level was, this is actually gonna fun. Uh, I got that one right there. And for once, the carrots and lies meter are actually compared to each other. Oh no, actually like, 30 is your first time, 20 for your second time. Or maybe I actually had 57 carrots and I wasn't paying attention, but either way, no, 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 it was 57 cards, sorry. You, it's 20 to play this game. And with that finally over, we can finally progress to my favorite area of the game. Yes, we will see you later, game. <laughs>